Hi, this is Julia, and today I'm going to show you a virtual machine. Now, I'm with this Windows Vista virtual machine. I don't know if you guys know, but an Indian scammer called me yesterday about errors on my computer. However, I was not at home, so I told him to call back today. So he should be calling back in a hour, few hours, maybe an hour. Um, he called me around this time yesterday, and I told him maybe to call me around the same time, or maybe like an hour or two after. So I guess we're going to see what happens. But in this video, I'm here just to show you the virtual machine. I messed it up and made it have all these airs and pop all this stuff. So when he's in the middle of doing stuff on it, it's going to do stupid stuff. So this is just going to show the virtual machine. You guys tell me if the screen recording software is good because I've never used it before. Now, I don't know if the scammer is going to call, but I'm still going to put this video on YouTube so you can see what the virtual machine is going to look like when the scammer goes on it and this is gonna be a really funny video because I've been waiting for one of these people to call me for like a really long time because I wanted to mess with them but now it's a perfect timing I just figured out how to do virtual machines better and now it's gonna be really funny and now they're gonna get a nasty surprise at the end of this video I'll show you how I did it so now all these programs are just going to start opening, and all these message boxes are going to start opening, and I'll show you me closing all of them. So, there it goes, just opening a whole bunch of stuff, like Windows Defender there, this clean up here, here's the Internet Explorer 9 setup, which can't run because it doesn't have the latest service pack. Um, there's Internet Explorer. Now I'm going to worry about those in a second. Here's WordPad, Notepad, there, Windows Update here, um, all these message boxes here. Now the ones that say you are stupid have about 50 of them. Um, I just made this one up for to be funny. If you guys know what happened on that day, which I actually do know what happened, it's something to do with Vista, and I thought I'd put that in there because it'd be funny. So, you guys can say what happened if you want to. I already know what happened. If you don't know, you can look it up. But, I just thought about that. And, you are lame. <laughs> you need to update your computer now. <laughs> You're the dumbest person I know because I'm watching you right now. <laughs> Windows Vista, that actually is legit. That is the day Windows Vista will lose support. April 11, 2017. Your worst computer, you have bad virus. And then these are the ones that are really hard to get rid of. So I'm just be clicking through. I grabbed a lot of these from like the Windows Event Viewer from other computers and stuff like that. I popped up this. You're stupid. I hate you. That was a different way. It wasn't this. This some of the things open a file with all these messages. A, a VBS dot VBS file. The other ones don't do that. Go right there. Okay, go, 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 go. Close, close, close. Okay. So, here's the same thing. You know what I just do? Every time I try to hold it, here's the problem. Um, it opens up a bunch of those. And I asked, I turned off UAC on purpose. Because, oh, there's this one again. The I hate you one. Now, I, on purpose, I turned off UAC so it would run like the, the Internet Explorer setup, and so certain things will run without asking permission. Like, disk cleanup will start running, and stuff like that, and defrag. They will actually open without that prompt. I don't want that prompt popping up. What if they call in this video, like in this actual, this little video showing it, then I'm going to reboot. So, that's that. Now, let me show you, like, see, so yeah, I'm not sure if it'll open if you just open basic stuff. I mean, every once in a while, I'll pop up a message saying, I hate you, or you have errors, or things like that, just by just basic use, like that. You have errors. Um, I did add a few, like, things, like, this is an Office error I got. I tried to install Office on Vista, but I think it's because it doesn't have Vista SP1 or SP2 installed. It has Vista with no service packs installed. So, I know why the error happened, but I'm going to ask the scammer, why did I get that error, and see if they're smart enough to know. 
My favorite song, that's not an actual song. That just opens up that all those dialogues. I don't want to open that again. Same with this folder and this folder. These are not folders. I just edited the icon. Same with that one. And this is a this is a fake Internet Explorer. It just opens that other one, what happened on that day. And then this one is the real one. So, it is IE8, because I did upgrade it to IE8. It won't let me go to 9, but I guess I, I didn't know. This was before I knew the scammer was going to do this. I already had this virtual machine. I just wanted to like, do stuff. Now, this is how I did it. You go to Start, Administrative Tools, and you go to Task Scheduler. There's already... I set up a bunch of tasks to do certain things. So, all these tasks. Not all of them ran yet. Probably 20 tasks in here. When certain Windows event logs occur. So I went in the event viewer, as they say has errors, and went and said on the task scheduler, when this event happens, do this. So I made it open programs, there's one to display a message, and when open programs, some of them might actually hit open program and selected the .vbs notepad file, and it'll start doing all those error messages. Um, not all of them, and a lot of them just open basic programs. That's not operation completed successfully. I don't know why. Some of these, I think that means they ran. This must be some kind of error saying it couldn't run this one. Hmm. X9C46. Let me try 0X9C46. I think that means it didn't run. 9C46. Um. Yeah, it, I think it means it couldn't run. Let's see what it says. Um. I don't know why. I saw, I saw it pop up, the IE9 setup. But that might have been another one I made. I made two of them with the IE9. Um, this might have been because I typed in the wrong event or something. Or let me actually copy that into Firefox because Internet Explorer is just ugh sometimes. Um, it means oh, it did pop up. Those are the decimals for though. I want to know what it means. I don't, I, I don't understand computer language. It's saying stuff about decimal binaries and crap. Um, I don't know what it means. Obviously, let me check that event. Um, not all of them say that. I think that's the only one that say that. Why does it say 0x1? Oh, we have to run whether it's logged in or not. An error occurred. User account restriction error. Possible reasons or bank passwords are not allowed. Oh, you know why? I have to set the password. Um, okay, hold on. Um, user accounts. Create a password for your account. This is lame. That's the password. It doesn't matter. I just made that up. Um,. I just made up the this is lame. That's not my actual password. Because see now up oh, there's Windows Defender. Um, whether it's logged in or not, hit OK. This is lame. Just because it is pretty lame, and every time I do that, Windows Defender pops up. It looks like I see disk cleanup too on the bottom there. Um, I think I have a feeling it's going to open Windows Defender every single time because one of the security in the event viewer, and that's security. An instance of this task is already running. Um, I think it was that or this. Um, if the operation completed successfully, this one never occurred. I'm just trying to... Some of these are not running, so I'm trying to get them to run. Um, some of them with this error code. It might be because is isn't logged in. So... 
Um, let me see. Some of these never ran. I'm sorry, Batless. There. Um. Wow, Windows Defender pops up every single time. How persistent are you? Um. See, some of these don't say the operation completed successfully. Um. I like. I never. Oh, actually, I did see this message. Um. Let's just try to reboot and see what happens. I hope it doesn't stop them from running now that I messed them up. So I'm going to go restart and make sure that it still runs. If I notice some of the tasks aren't running anymore, I'm going to fix it and get rid of all those. I They said they'd call, I think, at 4, actually. So I don't think they're going to be calling for a while. It's 1.32. I hope I didn't crash Windows Vista. There we go. I was like, I hope Vista didn't crash. I don't think whether it's logged in or not is really going to mess up the thing. I think it's... Maybe I have to change them all to that now? I don't know. Hold on. I hope the scammer doesn't call in the act right now. I don't want him to call. I want to make sure this is all the way set up. It's logging in. Well, that popped up. That popped up. That Okay, I think it doesn't care. They're all still popping up. Except all the message boxes are not popping up anymore. Um, there was more message boxes that popped up last time. Um, okay, hold on. Where's Task Scheduler? Task Scheduler is a pain in the butt sometimes. Okay. Hello. Oh, that one. This one did pop up. I think the reason why I have to do this is I have to tell them all they can run, whether they're logged in or not. This task is running. This task is running. Um, that completed successfully. Actually... Um, I don't know, that one's completed successfully, that one's never, the ones that say 0x1, like this one, I need to chill it, this is not, uh, where is the setting, run whether it's logged in or not, um, okay, the ones that say 0x1 or say they're running means they worked. So I don't have to mess with them. Okay, I'm not logged in or not. Okay. When Windows Defender pops up, that means that ran already. Okay, 0x1 again. Um, what is this one? Stupid, you're the dumbest. That one used to always pop up, and now it doesn't. Um, what's the good when it when that one happens? Um, um, some of them are running, and some of them are not running. The message boxes I'm having little issues with. Um. Like that one used to pop up. You know what? I think, uh, I think I messed them all up. So let me just fix it the way it was before. I'm going to stop this video. I just wanted to show you. So thanks for watching.